Welcome to our system administrator course. This is a transition from help desk to system admin course. Um, and please, if you don't understand why I'm starting straight up and you see the screen, watch my bef the video before this. Before we start system admin lecture, uh, it's pretty much detailed stuff about what we are going to do and what we're doing right now so that's why I say please watch this before you get confused we put another video of just a little showcase of you know how servers look and things like that just to kind of give you a feeling maybe you you're not a helpless person and you're just learning so we're also giving you opportunity to do to kind of go with us if you are willing to take a chance take a risk of uh, putting more information in your head which is fine so we did that now we are in this situation we are going to be kind of a little bit doing a little test it's a test for myself for you for anyone who's taking this course and then you can move on and then there's from here on you can decide if you want to continue this course I really don't want to let members users students take with me all the way down and at the end you probably are not happy so this is the moment where you will decide that do you want to continue this course or if you don't want to continue that's fine okay let's go ahead and do it this way do you know how to do this stuff and what do I mean by this let's say for example we're gonna start with something that's in the middle like middle I mean you are working for a company a small company and you have one help this person you're two people only and your CEO is basically running a small business and he has like 30 members they are outside inside and you guys are the two people now you're the system administrator you're like that system admin guy so imagine if you're working for one company they have everything in a basic level set up for networking servers and things like that who is the responsible person over here for everything? That's number one question. That's you. Okay? He's he's paying you, let's say, uh, $70,000. He's expecting you to know everything. That's one category of people that we discussed. Now you could be working for a bigger company and you might be, you might not have to deal with all the stuff but we're doing a learning path here guys we're not just targeting one group that oh let's just do uh, virtualization uh, for, let's start from this lab and we're done and that's gonna help some people but then it's gonna leave a lot of people in dark so that's why we need to pick out from one company and that's gonna expand so you know if you get all this today then you can expand your own experience yourself and you have to you'll learn it yourself so let's just let me explain that so the small company is basically let's say AT&T is giving them a connection internet that's internet and again I'm gonna draw things in a very non IT way so maybe my diagrams might not make any sense to an IT person but it will make sense to a non IT people okay so that's my goal right here so you have an internet connection okay and let's say they say that we're not even putting a firewall right here I just want to just do something here I'm gonna put a router here that's your router that's a Cisco router that your boss bought right there's let's say two routers and then your boss also bought two switches two switch right here Cisco switches right here they are switches okay they're all I mean there are really nasty drawings right here but let's say these are switches right here basic basic okay router switch and then in one room you have finance department and another room you only have a sales department and let's not go into what this company is about they just they just have this so that's one right there okay and then he this guy this your boss has a lot of vendors that he work with okay so he works with a lot of vendors so they need to remote into your system got it so you need to give another people 
you know you need to give them access they're outside of your network they're not inside your network they're outside okay basic stuff right and then all these switches have wires basically patched wires going to these offices right here and they have PCs right here they have little PCs right here 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 PCs PCs right there right and he also wants you to give them let's say for example uh, Wi-Fi everybody should access the Wi-Fi okay that's one thing so you see in a, in a very short amount of time we created a little small office scenario for you now of course there's going to be a lot of other things now that was just a networking part that we're connecting that's just this kind of like discussion of networking here what about the servers like this router this this switch is giving you know like some kind of configuration to server let's talk about like let's say your boss love virtualization he said don't use any servers uh, and every put everything on one VMware and then use the Windows servers we're going to connect all these PCs to Active Directory now my question to you to you is this when I say do you know this stuff when I talk about all this do you know this stuff that's what I that's the main question today this is the main video is about we cannot we cannot and it's not going to be any justice to you guys or to anyone just jump in and say today we are going to do a switch lab let's configure switch number one or switch, router number one let's configure this without even you knowing IP addressing subnetting and things like that let's put a firewall in there because your boss says you know security is number one thing so he said you know what let's put a firewall so you as a, as a system administrator are you ready like you know if you if you can answer all these questions right now if you think that yeah I can I can manage a router and I can plug in the switch and I can configure these computers to VLANs and uh, all other things like that switching and stuff firewalls I just talked about a few things Active Directory VMware all this stuff then you guys are actually ready you don't need this course trust me take a chance go apply take a chance go apply you don't need this course this course I mean then you would need more of, if you are really if you know all this stuff then you need more if you're still confused then you need to do more of certifications and things like that to kind of build a confidence then and then apply or just apply trust me this is for people this is for people and I'm gonna say this again this will be no justice to anyone if I say let's just start you know uh, putting computers let's just open a switch right now and configure a switch and let's add these computers to VLAN without you 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 have no idea what VLAN is so if you don't if you don't know this then this course is useless I'm just gonna say this straight up right there and if you don't know what routers does like what is the main responsibility then this course is useless if you don't know what active directory a domain controller is then this course is useless if for me to say for me to basically just go and straight up start doing things so if you're expecting me to do that don't think that way because that's not gonna how this course is gonna be so that's why I say you might decide from after this video you will either leave this course or you will stick with me and we will learn everything from scratch router firewalls routers switching once you have a good command on this then we are going to deploy our first switches we're going to connect computers to it we're going to connect Wi-Fi to it then you're going to connect other things like you're going to put a VMware in there we're going to install everything vSphere servers we'll put servers on top of it then we'll put our first website we're going to let other people come in and add to our websites we are going to manage their databases we are going to destroy one of the switch we are going to you know mess up with our site we will try to hack it and do things like that and then we will try to recover it through our backups and restore that's what's gonna make you that system administrator my friends that's my goal for this and this is not going to be a small course don't think that it's gonna be finished in you know a few days and we're done it's not gonna work that way so what I did let's just go ahead and minimize this so what I did I put this these type of videos where 
104 platform if you don't know about jobskillshare.org that we use external resources and that's a research so you know how much time people take to just go around and get confused and find out a good information this is what we do we save that time for you and we do the research for you and we only find videos that are free uh, freely available for us to present it to you we don't download their videos we don't do anything like that we specifically just you know use their playlist if they allow it and then that's where it is so we use that like professor messer we have it we have itfreetraining.com some great great training but we also look at their training and sync it with our courses so it doesn't confuse you so this is where the next section we already put that so I can explain everything in a nice way so let's say you go to switching and routing oh here let's say if you just jumped in and you skipped my lecture that I'm doing right now you must be you must be reading this and that's gonna be funny because then you're gonna be are you thinking why did you why did we use another playlist here the answer is you skip the section about with details about to using playlist and that's a, that's the section that I'm talking about right now so don't be that person now for switching and routing before we do our lab before we say guys today let me just oh let me just clear this out guys today we are going to uh we bought our first ip address whatever we just got it from at&t and today we are going to configure our two routers two routers are based on cisco and let's go ahead and jump into the routers open the lab do this or do whatever you know install the software and let's start our router process just just ask yourself a question would it make any sense to you it will only confuse you it will not make any sense and it will be a failure unless you're one of those lucky ones that knows everything any anyways so that's why we decided to put playlists and the playlist is remember i said we're not going to do ccna so you don't have to do this you don't have to you can actually prepare yourself at the, at the same time both timing if you're doing a help desk you don't have ccna you can actually use this to prepare yourself but they're not required in our projects i mean you just need to make sure when we do our things we're just going to say hey take this playlist before you take our lab because if you if you get confused and you ask something like what how did you go to the vlan or how did you do that then we will not ha will not have any answers for those i mean we're not going to answer these kind of questions where where we know that you just skipped the basic level of training yourself like that's something you need to learn and we don't do that we basically don't do that i mean if we feel like you, there's a missing part and we're doing a lab and uh, it doesn't make any sense in the lab then we'll just say you know what in in the lab we'll also explain things like hey take that session take this section to know the terminology terms topology things like that we're not going to cover that so and and at this point from if you're coming from help this uh you're sh you shouldn't be doing this we shouldn't be doing this you know we shouldn't be talking about what is land what is when things like that that's kind of like you know that's why we put these resources so that it it, it really helps you uh, not finding out things on your own then that's the main goal okay every and each section our goal will be to find you the best resources that are just um uh, th there are just like for us to not reinvent any wheel again and we just know that it works for so many other people then it will work for you too okay so here is the ccna one that we picked it's i think one of the best out there i i think the way i liked it because it's kind of like you know the way we do things like you know we say oh in the real world do this do that and this guy is doing an amazing job so uh you know credit to him and we're using his direct youtube uh, uh, uh playlist so uh pretty nice stuff right here so if you want to start with switching and routing which is going to be our first thing and uh, for any person to uh, you know uh, to become a system administrator and if uh, you need to know this stuff it's just period you need to know this is basic stuff from Cisco but it's basic everywhere like you know if you if you know about the first part of it is first from here all the way down to the uh, from here all the way down to interconnecting devices it's kind of like the same for anything else subnetting IP addresses TCP this is the normal stuff that everybody needs to know and the rest goes down to Cisco stuff and I, and why I put Cisco in there is that let's be realistic 
we need to be realistic when we say that you want to be a system administrator job. A lot of people are, when they talk about networking, uh, you know, requirement in the resume thing, like, you know, not the resume, in the job requirements, they're 90 or 80% talking about Cisco over here, okay? So let's not just close our eyes on this and say, no, no, you know, that's not true. So if it's not true, then you need to find what other people are doing with when they when they meet when they talk about you need to know how to do networking then you need to find what they're talking about okay the same way we're gonna do with the firewall and like I said we will do our own labs in there like we just explained in one of the images right here dirty images but um, that's what we're gonna do there's gonna be another section right below this and it's gonna say lab real world let's do some ticketing you know okay we got a call about this we set up our switch now we got a call something break down how do you how do you do things firewall is the same way load balancing the same way dns the same way dhcp the same way active directory the same way we will put all of these playlists each section so then you have a very strong base if you start applying for these jobs your interview even if you're like say for example you're a help this person there are two help this people and they're applying for the same job in the same company then think about the in they are going to do an interview then then think about the interview process so our labs are not going to help you with interview then it's going to be these things that are going to be helping you in with interview not our labs our labs are going to help you with some kind of real world scenario but these are going to be the things that are going to help you with a solid base first of all a good base with anything if you if you take a networking or firewalls or or DNS DHCP Active Directory it doesn't matter you're gonna have a good base and you're gonna have a good grip on things so this can the reason I added these things is because I want to target two categories one that the people are inside the job and they want to they want to make their knowledge a little stronger so that's gonna help them second one the people who don't have the job and they want to apply they want to learn this like they're learning from scratch so they have both abilities you know learn and do the labs and the third one who are already in the job and they just want to look at some labs to kind of make their uh, you know level a little bit better so that's it that's it for today and hopefully this clears all the confusion or anything that if you have about this course uh, if you're still confused drop me a comment and we will answer thank you